All right, I'm gonna be making a, di a video that's kind of different. Um, uh, um, you can see my reflection. But there's a GPT win, right? Yay, that's nothing new. But these anal the analogs that come with it don't aren't actually clickable, but these ones actually are because I did the mod on it. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, um, do the mod. So first off, you gotta, I took off the screws for the bottom right here. So I'm gonna open it up, so hold on. Okay, so right here from the side, you can tell I've, I opened it up quite a bit. Actually, you might not be able to, but I actually had to open this thing up quite a bit and reclose it just to get it just right because there's so many things that, you know, there's so many adjustments I had to make. So, you know, disconnect the fan, right? Don't wanna forget that. Um, right, hold on, let me take off the battery. Yeah, hold on. Okay, so here's the, the battery. That's not really important, but, um. This is it right here. These switches, oops, these switches right here, I actually got them out of like these toys or whatever. Well, one of them was, well, kind of, sort of, but this right here, uh, one of them I actually got out of a phone case that I, a charging case that I had for this phone that's I'm using right now. And this other one I got out of a little controller, dual gamer thing, whatever. And this right here, I got the wire from my brother. And so to, get inside i'm going to show you how you know i hooked it up and whatnot with the wire so you got to take out all these little screws and whatnot and oh look at that missing screw what the heck hmm. it doesn't matter honestly like you you don't need all the screws to hold it down but my goodness i'm missing a screw so i could just use probably this one right here uh, anyway so i'm gonna open it up and show you guys all right so you just dis oh sorry you just disconnect this right here which connects to the the actual screen Hey, can you, can you hold that? Oh, boy. God dang it. Hold this down. Nick! Hold it down. Put your finger there. So. Okay, now that you disconnect that, then you gotta disconnect these, which I'll just do right with my hand. You always make sure you get this part. And uh, also, when you do, you gotta loosen these up, but always remember, you have to have some play in these screws right here. For the actual analogs to move so don't screw them down all the way but I'm gonna have to actually unscrew them all the way but I just put them back to normal so here it is right here uh, after I took off this hey what would this be called <laughs> I don't really know much about computers the motherboard 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 yeah. anyways this thing right here right you got the wires that go through right and this is how it is on the bottom I actually put tape there so that way the wires can run across those uh, or run around those other buttons for the keyboard right there and so that's what I used right there and that's it you just take off one of those little plates and that actually works kind of like a tack switch right there and yeah it works like a tack switch right there and so that's pretty much it I just use the wire glue or whatever that is it's actually this stuff right there right that stuff right and so yep that's it it actually works but you have to be like very it actually didn't work one of the times so for instance, like I glued it in and then it came off. So that's why I put the tape over that. So that way I could cover it. And also on the keyboard itself, I actually shaved down the middle ones right there. I don't know if you, you can't really see it, but yeah. Those ones right there, right? <laughs> okay, I can't point at it, hold on. These ones right here. These are the ones that I shaved down those little rubber things right there. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, that's just how you do it. It does no programming involved or anything like that. It's just, you know, basically the way this works is you get, you have two wires right there, right? You have one wire on the middle one. You have the other wire on the other, the outer ring, and then one of the, those, one of the, each wire connects on each side of a tack switch right there, right? See that? And so basically, you're now moving the button, so to say. So the button is no longer here. The, the attack switch, this is how attack switch actually looks like on the inside. It's actually this, you know, this part right here. That, that's where you get that sound, right? But, okay, so I just wanted to add this as well. Um, I put these little slits right here. I, I literally just did it right now. And right here, this is supposed to help with the cooling right here. I'll go ahead and just, I'll take that off too. But anyways, I'm just gonna explain why I did this. This part, goes over the fan right here and this right here just think of it like upside down 
but if you see without the slits it's actually sealed off so this part right here doesn't get any air none nothing except for maybe this gets cooling or whatever so this thing can get really hot so what i did there is i did that so that way you can get some you know air circulation in there and i put little slits right here just four of them not not so close together just so it can have some air circulation because it's gonna get it's gonna go in anyway so it's just so they can share i guess i don't know but anyways that's the entire mod yeah